I got this mug from, well, 3158 Cafe in Taiwan on Mount Hehuan Shan, which this cafe is like at the top of the mountain. Hehuan Shan is one of my favorite places in Taiwan, and I just love the place. It's just so beautiful. And also, each year the Taiwan KOM ends there. So 3158 is actually the meters of elevation that this cafe is at. And in the Taiwan KOM, they climb about 3,250 something meters. And that's all in one day in one event. And it's crazy. And one day I hope to maybe do the Taiwan KOM. But since, you know, all that's happening with the world and everything, we got to stay indoors. And well, I still want to try the challenge. So on Zwift, there is the Alp de Zwift, which is about 1,100 meters of climbing. And it's just basically the up to Huez. I hope I'm saying that right, but I'll put the words here. But basically, I think it's like the biggest KOM or like mountain that you can climb on Zwift. And I've done it once before. And I gotta tell you, it was tough. So in this video, I'm gonna be attempting the equivalent of the Taiwan KOM on Zwift using up the Zwift. So basically, this is about 3000 plus meters of climbing. And so that would mean I have to do up the Zwift thrice. And so, yeah, this is the story of my attempt. So yeah, without further ado, let's get to the morning of the challenge. Let's go. So this is the bike, focus, All right, get our fan, Zwift, entertainment, All right, let's get clipped in. So we're going to be doing Road to Sky, that's the route that's fastest I think to uh, up the Zwift. This is actually the first time I'm using Will here indoors, I usually ride Trinity. We get to do a bit of a warm up first, I hope the screen recording doesn't fuck up. <laughs> kind of nervous about that. My bike has a little bit of a creak. Don't know what that's from. So, while we are warming up, I thought I'd run you guys through my nutrition for this ride because it's always important to get some nutrition in. I don't know where that creak's coming from. It's so annoying. So, uh, I've got three of these. These are Rice Krispies. I got two here. Another one there. Two bananas. I love bananas. Bananas are the best. I'm gonna start out with the bananas. You know, it's just some whole foods. And then I got these crumb bombs. <laughs> so annoying. And I put it in a Tupperware so I can eat. And the crumbs won't get all over the place. That's annoying. Just warming the legs up before we go up. Now, it must be said that I am not the best cyclist. Far from it. Far from even good. <laughs> I just enjoy this. So, do not expect crazy fast times on this one, but expect normal guy just attempting, you know? So, 
on dull boring parts like these where I'm just grinding which is going to be basically the whole thing but when I'm not talking I don't want to keep this camera on so I have this camera to show you guys that yes I am doing it hopefully it doesn't die it has 13 hours of recording time hopefully we'll do it in half <laughs> it wasn't recording the right screen for that part good thing I checked and now should be recording the right screen I mean literally the one on the right so the rules for this challenge are well I mean I can stop for refueling pee breaks but it's gonna be one continuous ride ideally right now I'm still on the big gear and now we begin the attempt <laughs> Zero out of 22 corners. Let's do this. Oh, already I can feel it getting punchy. I cannot hold this. I'm gonna go for something easier. Now the idea isn't to do this in the fastest amount of time possible. Rather, to do this at all. 10% gradient, 245 watts. The sum is like zone 2, but for me, it's way above the threshold. And I'm on my second biggest gear. That's not cross chain. Go up a few gears, settle into a nice cadence. Now I could go all out and just rush this, but I don't want to blow out. Keep thinking there's water here right in front of me because on my tri bike it's got a bottle there but alas not the tri bike but I gotta say it's a lot easier to push down these watts Ale Ale Whoo Whoo Coming up on the first of 66. <laughs> well, 22, but times three. And already 100 meters of elevation climbed. Whew. One down. At least it gives you a respite of six degrees, five degrees. And then you slap in the face again. I'm really trying not to go too hard. Because if I do, I will die. So, take it easy. I think this is a good pace. I might regret that, saying that later. Last time I did this, it took about 1 hour 35. But that was at the tail end of a 100 kilometer bike ride. It's not going to be a long distance wise ride, but lots of climbing. So yeah, switch to the other camera. Alright, so here is a challenge that I did not anticipate. I can't watch Netflix because I'm screen recording. Ah, and it's just black. I mean, look at this. Currently watching Tokyo Ghoul. Late to the game, I know, but it's good. I like it. But I can't watch it on this ride. Usually uh, on long indoor rides. That's when I catch up on shows. I guess not this time. I think I can watch YouTube videos. Oh well. <laughs> Dang it. I tried to foresee everything. But I guess some things I can't plan for. Four out of 22 done. Let's get back to it. We are on 6 out of 22, and I am just watching Pokemon streamers pass time while torturing myself on this mountain. It's nice because it looks so detailed, and as you get higher, there's more snow. And now we've just entered 
more snowy part. So, in about 15 minutes, we'll have our first intro ride nutrition. All right, time check, 5.37. We are on the 12th turn, hairpin turn. I think we're doing, okay, a little bit under FDP. <laughs> kind of worrying, but let's do this. 46 minutes into the ride. Usually at this time, I like to take my first snack -o so I don't bonk. Very afraid of bonking, especially when outside. But it's also a good time to practice what you can eat during the ride, so. First banana. If you guys have seen my IG stories, I always have banana nut butter toast, which I'll have after this ride. Well, that won't be for a while, so. Banana. We are on the sixth from the last sector. It is 49 minutes in, and we are averaging at around in the 170s range in terms of watts, keeping my heart rate around 150. And honestly, I'm a little concerned. <laughs> I might need to pace myself a little better. Thankfully, we're gonna include going down up the Zwift. So that's about 10 minutes of descent, which gives me some time to rest. We are exactly one hour into this ride now, but 50 minutes into off the Zwift. And the snow is thick, proper thick. Look at that, walls of snow, 9% gradient. I would like to increase my cadence a little, keep it around 70s range. And if you can see, over here, the sun is coming out because it's almost 6 a.m., 5.54. The hairpin turns. You have a little respite from the steepness because it flattens out, then climbs back up. So here, I want to try to get a bit of speed by going into a harder gear. 0%, negative 1. Get some speed. And then back up. Okay, you're now number five, negative one, four, five, six. I was gonna go seven, seven. Woo! Get steep real fast. All right, so here is the current situation. We're around the 170s in terms of watts, average watts per sector. So I think that's really good, but I don't want to blow out. So for the next run, I'm gonna aim to be in the 160s. So definitely not gonna be a negative split. I'm gonna be a little slower, but the idea is, okay, there, we hit the last two. The idea is that we pace ourselves. So 160s for the next one, and then 150s for the last one. That is our strategy today. Doing pretty well.
All right, 400 meters until our first summit, and the time is around 70 minutes, maybe. Get there. I'm guessing 72. That's my guess. Oh, it says it here. 72. <laughs> All right. It is quite stunning up here. If this were a view, I'd take a picture of it. It's about to flatten out. And. One down. One down. One down. Am I good? Okay. So here are the stats. Time was 72.28.9. Significantly better than the first attempt about almost a month and a half ago. All right, before we go on our U-turn going down, tea break, and then, yeah. All right, tea break done. I'm going to descend this now, and then I'm gonna have some snacks, and then ascent number two. I think right now I will have a Rice Krispies treat. Switch it up from the banana. All right, about to go down, about to go down. And descending. Oh, bro, bro, that's not allowed. UCI is gonna get mad. You can't do the super tuck anymore, unless maybe you're on Zwift or an indoor trainer. Ooh, super tuck, no, I'm kidding. Oh, 65 kilometers per hour, snacko time. Only on Zwift can you descend and have snacks at the same time. Anywhere else in the real world would not be advisable. It's time to turn this into a mukbang. Mm. KOM bottle with some Gatorade, electrolytes. Time check, 6.35. We are now at the bottom of Up the Zwift again. And we're gonna be starting our second ascent in three, two, one. Okay, let's go. The second attempt. Oh, we are 26 seconds down. Not bad. The goal here is to go for 160 watts average your sector. Yeah, let's pace it nicely. Sun is fully up. Looks like a pretty decent day. It's a Zwift inside. <laughs> Alright. Zero out of 22 again. The grind. We are currently at 1,084 meters of elevation climbed. By the end of this, it should be about 2,000 plus. Alright, 165 average. That's what we're aiming for, just right in the middle. Try to aim for a goal of 85 minutes. All right, let's get to it. Time check, it's 49. After about almost two hours of cycling, the fatigue is starting to set in. And you can see that on the average watts per sector, we are quite below what I aimed for. That's all right. As long as we're still going, that's what matters. So here's what I'm thinking. Not really thinking much. Head empty, brain smooth, just pedaling. I'm not yet suffering, but these are definitely efforts. It's not easy. And it is kinda getting hot. So open up so opening up the jersey is helping a lot. Whew, getting that fan in. Heart rate is gonna stabilize between 145 to 150. Ah, 9%. Which is normally 
I'd be like, what the fuck? But today, 9% is like, yes, yes. We're about to exit the very squiggly part. And then we're gonna be entering the snowy parts in a bit, the longer snowy parts. hit the two hour mark on this tire ride. My hair, what is going on? <laughs> 25 minutes on the second up, go up, go up, second, second summit, second climb. Yes, that's the word, second climb. Feeling a lot better now. I guess at the start there was like an initial shock of, oh, we're gonna do this again. After being cooled down, my legs were like, oh shit. In about 10 minutes, we're gonna go for our third intro ride in nutrition, which will be another banana. through. We are on the way to the ninth hairpin turn, 2R15 on the ride, about 40 minutes on this second, I always forget the word, second going up. I can't, can't remember the word. Second ascent. And now it's also time for our second banana. 1600 meters of elevation climbed. We're about halfway through this challenge. I should feel a lot better after it's banana. From here on out, I'm gonna take nutrition every 30 minutes, breaking down the ride into like these small chunks where you get to kind of treat yourself something to eat. Makes it a lot easier, like mentally. Physically, you can push your body, but the mental struggle is really where it's at. That's where the discipline comes in. It's a pretty nice day. There's my giant trinity outside because usually Trinity is the one that's inside, but wanted to ride Will, the GTR team, really just the GTR team, because it's an endurance bike. And last time I climbed up the Zwift, I did it on Trinity, and it was, it was not as easy, or maybe I was just weaker. Climbing, making me want to sing a song with my people. Let's go. It actually helps. That actually helped some. Four more. Oh, that got my heart rate up. Hime, hime, hime. And officially, that is one R on this ascent. All right, 2,000 meters of elevation climbed. Let's go. Two thirds of the way to our goal. And we are towards the last hairpin turn before 
our second summit. Actually not doing too bad in terms of time, but I do gotta be. <laughs> Sorry if I'm looking here, the monitor. Maybe if I wear shades, it won't be as obvious. Yeah, let's go. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna wear this. Whew, I really need to pee. That's my main motivation right now. So far, the strategy is going quite well. We're in the 160s, bringing them down a notch, 150. 500 meters. It's slow, slow. <laughs> Ascent number two. Done. I gotta pee. All right. I'm sorry I shouted. All right, third and final ascent. Well, actually we're doing pretty good. So yeah, the time is now 8.14 and we're about to do our third ascent that will put us in the ballpark of 315 six, four, basically enough meters climbed for the Taiwan KOM. Without further ado, let us begin. Alrighty, we're about to start. Kind of feel it in my legs now, but feeling good about this. Ready to go for, oh yeah, definitely feel it in my legs. This is gonna be the tough one, but why would we do this if it weren't tough? So, let's go. Up the Zwift. Three. It's always that initial initial incline that really hits you hard. Like you're going 0% elevation, and then bam, 10%. <laughs> Whew. Enough time in the big gear. That's about it. <laughs> Five seconds. Small gear. Oh, that's a lot better. Officially starting to hurt. I mean, like proper hurt. It's like literally, it feels like you're at the base of a mountain because <laughs> you virtually are. But once you get higher, you start to see the snow, you start to see the peak, the motivation comes back, and it doesn't hurt as much anymore. What I love about power meter is you literally see your watts going down as you get more tired. Like at the start, we were at 170, 180 average per sector. Now it's like 140s, 150s as we get fatigued. So as I was starting this third ascent, I was reading about the Taiwan KOM, you know, getting more info on it. And there are gradients of up to 27%, which is insane can't replicate that here, but we're just counting on the meters of elevation climbed. This is, I think, the toughest route that Zwift offers, so make do. So we are now a little less than halfway through this last ascent. You can tell on the graphs below that I am struggling. A lot more blues than greens and yellows and oranges, which are like the power zones. This is really getting tough, but we are approaching 2,600 meters of elevation climb. It's currently nine o'clock. Doing good. Might have time for breakfast. <laughs> Just 
just hit the four R mark and this is really starting to really be tiring. I mean, I said that like thrice already, but average watts in the 140s now. We're about to hit one R on this ascent. So not a very good time. That is fatigue for you. Still having fun though, <laughs> honestly. I am thoroughly happy with my new MacBook Pro. Got the M1 upgraded to 16 gigabytes of RAM and it's running the screen recording plus Zwift plus YouTube on Chrome really smoothly. Haven't had any hiccups or anything. That M1 processor, now I can do it. <laughs> this sixth one is the longest, I think. It has like a mini turn. approaching the 3,000 meter mark. I would be celebrating by now, but I was just doing some reading and Taiwan KOM is actually 3,275 meters of ascent, which means we'll be short by I think 150 meters. So at the top, I'm not yet gonna celebrate. We're almost there. 3,000 is the most I've ever climbed. down like 100 meters of elevation so I did the math we have to go back down to the third hairpin turn the first back and break <laughs> ready now I'm gonna make a u-turn and then go down then carefully make another u-turn so we can just do exactly as much as we need. Three, two, and one. Whoa, damn. My boy knows how to use his brakes. All right. Last, 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 last. We have to just take this all the way to the end. This is the motivation one. Finish line. So near. So near. Twenty-five. Meters more. 25. Oh. Ten. We did it! Three, two, seven, five. I'll just finish this, make it to the top, and wrap the video. Oh, that was fun. That was definitely fun. That, let's finish. So yeah, that's about it. 3,310 meters of elevation climb. You did it. Up the Zwift three times in a row. Thank you guys for watching. I am now gonna have my almond bread 
almond butter and banana toast for breakfast. I'm so excited. I'm just gonna get down this mountain and then breakfast time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for joining me on this um, fun ride. And see you guys next time.